hi amazing people welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you are welcome thank you for clicking on my video and if you are my old subscriber thank you all for coming back today we'll be making a mermaid skirt pattern with train at the back i'm gonna be using the slash and spread method to make this pattern you are going to need the following measurements the waist circumference, the hip circumference, the knee circumference, the length of your skirt from waist to the hemline. Then you need from waist to hip. And then you need from waist to knee. On the table, I folded my pattern into two using the largest circumference of my body, which is a hip measurement. And as you can see, I mark a horizontal line at the top of the paper. This line serves as my starting point and also the waistline. If you want to add band to your skirt, you can go ahead and do so. You have to subtract the height of the band from the hip line. In this case, I'm going to start by removing 1.5 inch from my waistband. So my waist to my hip is 8.5 inches. My waist to my knee is 22 inches. So I came up by 2 inches. So that makes it 20 inches to give room to walk freely in the skirt. Then the length of my skirt is 40 inches. At the waistline, I'm going to insert my dart. To get your dart, you need your bar span measurement. That is your nipple to nipple divided by 2. So my nipple to nipple is 9 inches divided by 2 is 4.5. So I'm imputing 4.5 on the waistline and the hip line as well. I'm connecting the line from the waist to the hip line with my straight ruler. From your hip line now, you are going to go up by two inches. That is for the dart. And then you are taking one inch for the dart on the waistline. And then you divide into two, half an inch on both sides. Then you connect. You connect the lines to meet the two you mark down. Now you are going to insert the waist measurement. My waist circumference is 39 inches divided by 4, which is 9.1. And also add the 1 inch I use for the dart. Altogether is 10.7 inches. My hip circumference is 44 inches divided by 4. I got 11 inches. Now to my knee, I have to subtract one and a half from the hip measurement. So the 11 inches I got, when I subtract one and a half inch from it, I got 9.5 inches. I will mark the same 9.5 down the hemline. Now I use my French curve to connect from the waist to the hip line. And below the hip line, I come down by 2 inches to give a perfect shape. Then connect to the knee line. From the knee line, I use my straight ruler to connect to the hem line. Now I take half an inch down the waistline from the center front of the waistline. Then connect to meet the side seam. Now you find the midpoint of the knee line and connect straight to the hem line, which serves as the slash and spread line for the mame skirt. So guys, I have come to the end of the front pattern. 
so if you want to cut it you have to cut it on fold don't forget to cut it on fold and i didn't add same allowance so you can add the same allowance when cutting it on the fabric so now i'm going to move to the back pattern from the waistline you are going to take out the band height which is one and a half inches one and a half inch sorry now the most important part before imputing my horizontal measurements please pay attention here carefully you are going to go in by half an inch from the center of the back pattern because you can see our back is not that flat our back goes inside in the spanner cord area so by going in half an inch it helps the band of the skirt to sit well at your back so guys now we are going to take the back that measurement the measurement for the that is nine inches nine inches divided by two is four and a half so this four and a half you are going to mark it on the center front line not where the half inch went in on that half inch line no you are going to measure from the center back then you come down the hip and mark also four and a half inches then you connect the line and then from the hip line you are going to go up by one inch and on the waistline on the dart you go half inch half inch that's one inch and then you connect it to meet the one inch that you took from the hip up You then divide your waist circumference by four my waist circumference is 39 inches divided by four i got 9.7 inches plus the one inch you use for the dart so making 10.7 inches you go to the hip line also and divide the hip by four the hip is 44 inches divided by four is 11 inches from the knee line the knee line is now 11 inches so this 11 inches you take one inch from the center back you mark one inch from the center back and half an inch from the side if you have big butts but if you have normal butts you take half an inch from the center back and then you take one inch from the side and connect the line but don't forget that on the hip line i always come down two inches or you can come down more than two inches depending on you so from the from the waist you connect the line from the waist to the hip and then from the hip to the knee line and then you use straight ruler to connect from the knee line to the hem line at the hem line don't forget that the hem line should also be nine and a half as the knee line or well, nine and a half inches as the knee line before you connect them so guys if you are still watching and this tutorial have been helpful to you you find it so interesting please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you never subscribed yet please help me to grow my channel help to share it to family and friends The new point divided by 2, which is 4.75. I'm going to mark this 4.75 all the way to the hem line. The line I mark from the knee level to the floor, I'm going to slash it open and cut it to the side, but not to cut it through. That's the front.
then you are going to get fresh pattern paper and what you are going to do now is to tape down the front on the new pattern paper now you are going to spread it to the amount of volume you need depending on what you want make sure that you have the same amount from the knee level to the floor of the skirt and then you use the french kerf to connect the ends that's the bottom of the front and then use your straight ruler to connect it to the side towards the side now you cut it and this is what you have for the center front let's go to the center back okay you also find the midpoint of the center back that's the knee line you find the midpoint then you slash it to go up to the knee line and then slash it to both sides but not to cut it now you take a fresh pattern paper and going to spread it on it if you want train at the back you can extend the tail as much as you want whether you want it to flow it depends on your preference okay this is the train i'm going to connect to how much volume i want and cut it straight from the side to the tail So this is how the back look like and this is the front it's much nicely so this is the pattern for the mermaid skirt watch out my next video for the sewing tutorial of this mermaid skirt we have come to the end of our mermaid skirt pattern please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and share it with friends families whoever you love share it to them to help grow my channel please subscribe subscribe and watch out for the sewing tutorial on my next video thank you see you on my next video